Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope y'all are having a great and wonderful day out there. Oh, man, we've got a few things to talk about today. Now, as I told y'all in our last video, Israel is at war. The Palestinians pulled off a sneak attack. And in the beginning... It went very well for the Palestinians. But now Hamas, I say Palestinians, it's a group of Palestinians called Hamas that are backed by Iran and others that say they are working for the Palestinian people. But in actuality, I believe they're working for the devil and themselves. They, uh... <laughs> are doing some horrendous acts and they're fixing to pay dearly for it and sadly the palestinian people are going to pay dearly with them but when it's all said and done they will be eradicated and maybe the palestinian people will be better off with them gone so the update is 3,000 injured 1200 dead over 150 have been kidnapped. They're finding dead babies from where Hamas went into houses and things. And they're finding mass killings over there where, where they had been just horrors done. And, uh, well, the war draws on and there's going to be more death and destruction on both sides it has a real real expectation of expanding already america has got our carrier attack force slash support force on the shore they're right right offshore ready to help in any way they can we've got americans that are among the kidnapped i'm sure if we get intelligence where they're at, we're going to go in and get them and kill the bad guys. And, uh, there's been warnings thrown around here, thrown around there. Hezbollah and Lebanon are threatening and shooting rockets. There's rockets coming over or mortars coming across to Syria border supposedly now i haven't heard this from a bunch of sources but i have heard it from a couple if israel goes into gaza with ground troops which i believe has already started that hezbollah is going to attack israel syria may attack israel which you know would be devastating for them if they did that Oh, look, there's my finger. What was I pointing out? I was pointing out something. I can't remember on that video. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's dangerous over there, y'all. And Iran is not out of the woods yet. Iran could be attacked and attacked viciously for their parts in the planning and funding of these horrendous atrocities the the key to watch as we go forward is the response of israel now is or israel gonna restrain themselves when they need to restrain themselves or is this gonna go too far are there gonna be some false information coming out to turn the world against israel because at some point biblically the world does turn against Israel. And uh, that's just part of what is prophesied. Your Lord God Almighty loved you so much that he told you how things are going to go in the not too distant future. There goes my finger again. I'm pointing at something. I can't remember what it was for. There goes an ambulance in Coleman, Alabama this morning. I wonder what's happening. Oh, there's my pen. I think I'm pointing at them people over there. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this video was took a while back. I'm just voicing over today. 
because I needed some footage to uh, get this out. That's not the only thing we have going on right now. In the Bible, it talks about earthquakes in diverse places. Well, this year has not been uh, a slow year on those because Afghanistan was hit on Saturday. 4,500 is what the Taliban are saying died on Saturday. Well, yesterday, even late last night or something, another, another earthquake hit. Just as bad in the same place. Now think of it what you will, but that earthquake hit the day Israel was being attacked. And now another one on top of that. And there was already saying 4,500 were, were, were not accounted for, were dead. And they've been digging people out. I mean, Afghanistan is a really, really active fault zone over there. I mean, the earthquakes... Are ridiculous. This year, I want you to think back because Americans in the world seem to have a short term memory. But I'm just talking about this year. Remember back February the 6th, 2023? In Turkey, they had two earthquakes. One was a 7.8 and one was a 7.5, really close together. 60,000 people died. 60,000 people. That's a lot. I mean, ouch, wow. I mean, what can you say? If, if that hit California or New York City, a 7.8, that's rough. I mean... We have been blessed for years with the earthquake situation. We have not had... I remember when I was young, we had a couple of pretty good-sized ones, but I haven't heard of a huge one to hit the U.S. where we had major loss of life. Back on September the 9th, 2023, Morocco had a 6.8. Like 3,000 people died, I think it was. Then we had the Maui fires this year. We've been dealing with this Ukrainian war. Fuel prices are outrageous. It's been biblical, ladies and gentlemen. These, I believe, are the birth pains for the tribulation. For the Lord coming back and taking his people in the rapture. The tribulation to begin... Things are lining up just like the Bible talks about. It may not be this year, but you can see the prophecies coming fulfilled in the Bible. Now, all that being said, all that's going on today, over at my house, we're in severe drought down in South Mississippi. Severe trout it's, it's pretty bad <laughs> pretty bad uh well we're supposed to get some rain tonight i think it is i hope we do lord please let us have some rain uh so whether you believe in rapture or not the tribulation is coming that's pretty much agreed on by everybody the tribulation, the end times are upon us. We're in the end of the end times, is what I hear a lot of folks saying. So that being said, I'm hoping for that blessed hope of the rapture so that the church don't have to go through the things that are coming upon this earth. But those of, uh, of our people that believe in we have to go through the tribulation... I believe the next thing we're going to start seeing are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Revelation 6. The four horsemen, I'm not sure about the timing. If they come and then there's a break and then they come and then there's a break. Or if they all come pretty close together i kind of have thought in the past it's going to be a perfect storm one 
two, three, four. Real close succession. The devastation is going to be biblical. Apocalyptic, per se. So, let's turn to Revelations. And let me read you some of this about the four horsemen. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of these seals, and I heard, as it were, a noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard a second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And that there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over a fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. Y'all, a fourth part of the earth. That is going to be devastation like never seen before. And it's going to come like four waves. That first wave from the white horse went forth conquering and to conquer. That sounds like war. And when they had opened the second seal, they had the red horse. And the red horse, with power was given that sat their own, should kill one another. But had a great sword. Does that mean that men walk across each other's paths and just go to killing each other? Or does that mean nation is killing nation or people are killing people? Either way, it's going to be a lot of death. And that third horse, the black one, that is the economic disaster. You won't be able to go to Taco Bell. You won't be able to go to the grocery store. There won't be any way to purchase. You may be able to trade with your neighbors if your neighbors aren't killing you because of that second horse. It yet remains to be seen. I can only speculate. Now, that fourth horse. <laughs> and when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice say, Fourth of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed him. And power was given unto them. That makes me think that they're all pretty close together. Because it was given to them, not one at a time. It wasn't a space. And they're all given over the fourth part of the earth. To kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and with the beast of the earth. Now, the beast of the earth is something that I've, I've been intrigued about. I've heard some sermons that speak of the beast of the earth. Where they will attack the ones that are not serving God. And where they will protect the people of God. So if we don't go in the rapture, we will have a protection from God. While all this bad stuff is going on, there will be hedges of protection around God's people and their substance. 
Because the church is not for wrath. So, comfort yourselves that there's either going to be a worldwide rapture or catching away of all Christians before this tribulation, or we will all be protected during the tribulation from the things of the tribulation. And there's more, a whole lot more about the tribulation that we will go into in the future. And I hope I haven't bored you too bad. This is just the things that are on my heart with what we see is going on and things are escalating. There's stuff about Biden that people are talking about that are that is going to be coming out. Uh, next year, 2024, is going to be rough -er, from what I'm seeing politically and militarily but we'll see i could be wrong i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm dead wrong i hope that we have such peace and prosperity that it boggles the mind but chances of me being wrong with what is written in the bible and what we see happening now and we're in getting close to the end of the generation that saw israel's rebirth which is a huge sign for the end of the times israel's rebirth as a nation was huge y'all you may not like it but it don't matter if you like it or not israel the jewish people are god's chosen people jerusalem is god's city and he's gonna bring them back in the fold Christians did not replace the Jewish people. There are two groups of God's people. Christians, which are grafted into the family. The Jewish people are God's people, and he's coming back to bring them in line. New Jerusalem is going to have their names. We are blessed to be grafted in with God's people through our salvation that we received by Jesus Christ. We are extremely blessed. God did not have to do that for us. But He loves us. He loves us all. He gives us all an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ and to be saved, to not go into torment. So please accept him. Let's let's make heaven extremely full. The streets of heaven make it where we have a hard time walking on them. I would really like that. But y'all, please pray for the people of Israel, for the innocents on both sides and all the future sides of this war. This could very well be the beginning of World War III. And it could be long and drawn out. The economies are going to suffer. Fuel prices are going to skyrocket more than likely. The peace deal that was in the works for Israel and Saudi Arabia seems to be tossed out now. So, y'all just hold on to your horses and let's see how things go. Hopefully, everything will be all right and we will stay safe. But they're predicting that we will have tax on American soil because Americans are supporting Israel. We haven't had terrorist attacks in quite a while. I personally think that they've been biding their time waiting for an opportunity or a season to begin those attacks. We'll see. Stay prayed up. Keep your powder dry. Sharpen your knives. Because war is here. We don't know how far it's going to go. We don't know if we're going to wake up tomorrow. And those terrorists are going to be kicking in our doors. Killing our people. With the open borders policy. There's no telling how many 
thousands of potential terrorists are in our country. Oh, that's not politically correct to say. I don't care. It's the facts. For a couple years now, they've been finding things down there on the southern border that indicate terrorists have been coming into this nation. Sleeper cells, per se. Don't matter if it's politically correct or not. The truth is the truth. And I hope and pray that our nation understands the severity of the crisis. Because when things start to pop off, you know, you need to be prepared. They ask why you need, you know, a semi-automatic rifle, semi-automatic pistols. Because those people in Israel, most of them were unarmed or elderly. They had their doors kicked in and shot in their houses and kidnapped out of their houses. Their babies were beheaded. Look it up. From multiple, multiple, multiple sources. From left and right. There's other unmentionable things going on to the prisoners. There's demonic activity happening over there. Demons are attacking Israel. So we all need to be in prayer for the future. For peace. For all the innocents on all sides. Because when the powers that be start fighting, we all suffer. So that's going to be all for today. It's just been on my heart. I needed to get some of that out. And I will try to keep you all updated about what I hear and what's going on with with the weather and earthquakes and everything. Hopefully things are going to start, you know, getting damper down my way you know i think we're gonna have a really cold winter i don't want it severely wet but we gotta have some water in my house man we about done lost all the fish out of all the ponds around us so god bless and i will catch y'all on the next ride